In this video, we're going to be looking at rounding tops and bottoms. And some of the objectives discussed include recognizing the patterns and their formations and also being able to identify when the pattern is completed. And we will finish this off by looking at some one-to-one -one price projection targets and how we'll derive them. So let's begin with rounding bottoms. A rounding bottom is a bullish reversal pattern where price makes a more gradual reversal. And support for price lows will make an upwardly curving arc. And unlike most patterns, there isn't a precise way to determine when the pattern is complete. It's best to consider the pattern complete when the price retests a prior clear and obvious peak. There is a degree of subjectivity here and ambiguity. And this is because it's up to each person to decide what is suitably clear and an obvious peak. You have to use your own judgment in this case. So let's give an example for the rounding bottom, which we must use in an example straight after this. But let's give a note on volume first before we move on. Remember that volume will typically decline through the first half of this pattern. You can see where you're getting that rounding bottom formation. And it will start to expand through the second half as the price starts to rise, and then it will continue expanding through that breakout. So volume will expand and will continue throughout this breakout. So we have an example here of a rounding bottom forming partway through an uptrend on JP Morgan shares. And in this case, there is a clear and obvious peak which can be used as a pattern completion level. You have that rounding bottom. You see you break above that prior clear and obvious peak. And by using a minimum one-to-one -one projection target, you can calculate the distance between this point, that peak, and the lowest low of the formation. And then you will project this distance on to the point of breakout to get your one-to-one -one target. And you can see that that price target was hit swiftly after at around what, 19, 50, just under $20 or so. And notice here that the volume was contracting during the first part of the pattern and expanded whilst the breakout had been occurring and beyond by the uh, bars from this point onwards. But with rounding tops, we must remember that these are the bearish equivalent of the pattern we just mentioned for rounding bottoms. And in this time, resistance for peaks forms a downwardly curving arc. And again, there may be some amount of subjectivity as to when exactly the pattern ends, but you should choose a clear and obvious trough. Remember last time we mentioned with rounding bottoms, we mentioned a clear and obvious peak. In this case, you need a retest of a clear and obvious trough, that significant trough from the beginning of the pattern as the level has been seen. So that must be broken for this pattern to confirm. And with an example here, we should probably talk about volume two. It should again be contracting, as we had in the last situation, through the first part of the pattern. And then it would be expanding into the breakout and as the price starts to fall. So let's give an example here of a rounding top in Visa shares. We have Visa shares and each candle represents an hour here. And we use the price level from the prior clear and obvious trough as the breakout level. And we apply a minimum one-to-one -one projection from there. Now, where is that? This is that prior clear and obvious trough level. This is the top. That is the distance we will be using to project from the point of breakout and see how that touched. It's interesting. And it's also to remember, also good to remember rather, that the volume here confirmed the bearishness of the pattern. You can see volume is contracting and the pattern is forming and volume starts expanding whilst the pattern is coming into completion. And you can see that it uh, once again declined into the formation of the pattern and contracted into the completion of the pattern. And also notice here that the bullish flag pattern, you got that bit of the flag, was occurring a little bit later in the chart from this period we were talking about. This is the area of the bullish flag. And that price target, if you put a projection from that difference on top of the point of breakout, you had a one-to-one -one target point being hit. You see a perfect point of resistance, around $82 a share. Now, to conclude this video, 
we've had an introduction to rounding tops and bottoms, but because of the gradual nature of this pattern, they often take longer to form than other reversal patterns, but they're not necessarily easier to identify in real time. You probably would have been thinking it's quite difficult to identify such a thing in real time, especially with the difference between the volume, the price action. Well, sometimes there is a very obvious peak or trough to use as the pattern completion level, but on other occasions, it can be more difficult to discern which level should be used which can make it a tricky pattern to trade at times. Nonetheless, it is definitely a pattern worth knowing about because the moves following a rounding top or bottom can be very strong, often dramatically exceeding the minimum one-to-one -one targets. Normally, you can see sector breakouts as well and trade accordingly with such patterns.